In this video, we're gonna talk about the price of Spawn 350. This is six months of hell after a new ruler of hell is announced, and that is Nyx. This is a Spawn 350 aftermath. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of King Spawn, issue number 31, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously in King Spawn, the aftermath of the race to the throne is upon us, and Spawn is now in uncharted territory. It's been nearly a month since the change. Those affected have desperately been trying to assert themselves. For those at the bottom of the food chain, they have another goal, and that's to blend in, to disappear, to not being seen. He don't want that smoke. The only smoke he wants is the smoke of his cigarette after he lights it up, but he's looking for something. He's looking for a certain douchebag, that is. So he makes a phone call, and he's like, yo, where is bro? Bro was supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. You guys were too soft on him. Now he's late, and that's all he knows. But in the distance, he sees something. He thinks he sees the person he's about to meet. So he tells him, where the heck have you been, bro? You late. And then he realizes, wait a minute, hold up. You ain't Billy. And all he sees, he don't see Billy. He sees those hands. Not once, but twice. And then Spawn's like, nah, bro. Billy ain't coming tonight. And unless you want to be buried next to him, I pay close attention to what I'm about to ask you next. There's an elderly woman. Her last name is Blake. Where is she? I don't know, says the guy. You sure? I swear. So Spawn's like, okay. And you could tell six months of Nyx as a new ruler, He's over dead zones now, so he has no power, so his chains cannot be concealed. His cloak is just there. So Spawn's like, okay, let me help you up. And he's looking more like Ninja Spawn than Spawn. So Spawn tells him, you good? And Jimmy's like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> but there's just one thing, says Spawn. What's that? I don't believe you. See these hands. Later on, Jimmy wakes up. And Spawn's like, glad you're awake, Jimmy. How do you know my name? Oh, that's not important. Do you know who I am? I told you, I don't know anything. I'm Al Simmons, the one they call Spawn. Does that refresh your memory? Where's Miss Blake? Don't know. I just follow orders. Whose orders? Just a guy, says Jimmy. Some voice over the phone. I've never seen him. Oh, that's disappointing, says Spawn. He takes out a knife, puts the symbiote mask over his face, and slits his throat just a little bit just to let the blood drip. So Spawn tells me, you know we've all lost our powers. Of course you do. I'll show you what that means, and you may not want to bleed all over yourself. How long you been on Earth, Jimmy? Must have come quite a shock to you to find out Hell's abandoned you and your kind. I know it was for me. That's why I need to find some folks, some friends I can lean on. This is one of my new best friends. He hasn't eaten for a week, and guess what? Like Tyrese from Fast and Furious, all of y'all in the comment section comment below, he hungry. And I think he smells the blood from your neck. Now, where's Miss Blake before I feed your ass to him? I don't know, says Jimmy. What good are you to be then? He throws him in the cage, closes the door, throws the key, lock it away. But the chain stops the creature in its tracks. Elsewhere, one week earlier, these guys are in a meeting, and the head of the table tells the guys, the question is, what should we do about it? For now, most of the Middle East and South American groups can still be counted on. But what about blood? The vampires are rallying behind him. He needs to be dealt with. We're dealing with the aftermath of Spawn 350. Everyone has their powers taken away because they're underneath the dead zone. So the leader's like, okay, well, blood will be dealt with in time. Meanwhile, the Asian groups have said they'll align with us soon. It's Europe we need to keep monitoring, especially the German faction. They've made deliberate attempts to grab more influence from themselves. Kruger was a problem. Even before we all turned mortal, says another voice off panel. And this guy's like, he was. I never believe he should have let half-breeds into his circle, but he did. Now, instead of using his hellborn skills, he's using his financial and corporate ties to get the jump on us. And another voice is like, well, I heard he's also recruited some of God's rogue agents. And the head of the table is like, yeah, they have all lost their powers too. That's not the problem. The problem is it's the technology he's leaning on. Technology he's unwilling to share with us. So pull some of Kruger's military contracts. Ship them to those more loyal. That shows us more respect. And another guy's like, whoa, but won't that increase tensions? Oh yeah, I'm sure it will. That's why Kruger needs to be eliminated. So the guy's like, but we're not permitted to touch one of the other heads. Oh, that's okay. That's why I'll get Spawn to do the dirty work for us. We'll make Kruger the target of Spawn's wrath. And how do we do that, says the voice off panel. Oh, you leave that up to me, as he has a sinister grin. So a week early, we also get a glimpse of Ms. Blake in the office. She's getting her test results. And in fact, well, her test results are pretty good. All she needs to do is monitor her blood pressure and die, but otherwise, things are good. So the receptionist tells Ms. Blake to goodbye and have a good day and tina this person who's the caretaker miss blake is like how did how did things go and miss blake's like well the doctor says i'm gonna live for a real long time 
Oh, that's very good. And so they go to the store, they grab some things. At home, Ms. Blake's like, okay, you've been kind of quiet today, Tina, but do you know when Linda, my original caretaker, is going to be back? I'm not sure. The message I got from the elder care is she was just sick. But you could tell Tina has something sinister going on because she's texting as Ms. Blake is talking about what a lovely sermon Pastor Johnson did today. So on the ride home, Ms. Blake is like, um, excuse me, Tina. It feels like, you know, we're going the wrong direction. Oh, don't worry. There was a detour. So she pulls up and we see our boy, Jimmy, <laughs> telling Tina, hey, the money's on the way. We'll take her from here. And now we're back to now. Some spawns like your choice, Jimmy. And the last time I'm going to ask you, I need to know where you took Mrs. Blake as there are some of us who care for her. That's why they took her, says Jimmy. Smiles like, what, you trying to say something, bruh? That's why they took her, he says, as the vampire is getting ready to close to, you know, getting a serious case of Lunchables and Jimmy in the Lunchable plate right now. No, Jimmy, you took her, says Spawn. Where? You've got five seconds. And the vampire is getting more hungry as we speak. And Jimmy's like, if I tell you, I'm a dead man. And Spawn's like, you a dead man if you don't tell me, bruh. So the chain breaks and the vampire is about to feast on that ass right now. But before he can, Spawn's like, leave him alone. Dex him. See my hands too. Even though Spawn's like, even though we ain't got no powers right now, y'all don't be trying me like I'm some kind of sample, all right? And Spawn tells the vampire, I still need answers from him. So the creature hisses its displeasure. But if it thinks it could beat Spawn without his powers, well, he knows he can't do this. So he has to cower away and back up. And Spawn's like, you're freaking out of time, Jimmy. Jersey, says Jimmy. She's in some warehouse in Jersey. Jimmy whispers a location into Spawn's ear. Now get me out of here, says Jimmy. Well, take this steak. You want out? Do it yourself. Spawn handles it like a top G. Spawn closes the cell door, then leaves, and Jimmy stabs the vampire in the heart, thinking that will do the trick, but the vampire is like, oh, nah, bruh. Unfortunately for Jimmy, these vampires aren't like the ones we've read about or seen on TV as the vampire goes to work on Jimmy and has his meal, and guess what? He may or he may not still be hungry, but you can tell me about that in the comment section. This is the end of King Spawn, issue number 31. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. Now, after the effect of Spawn, issue 350, where everyone on Earth has been vanished from hell and they ain't got no powers but Nyx, who knows what she's trying to do? I don't even know what Spawn's trying to do at this point. I know he was still looking for Wanda in Spawn, issue 350, but if you guys haven't watched the review or the breakdown of Spawn 350, Yo, I'm gonna leave the card at the end of this video right here, all right? And let me know what you think after you watch that. Also, don't forget to check out RatedComics.com for some really cool limited print Rated Comics exclusives. And lastly, this video is sponsored by coffee. So if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the Super Thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.